Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel in this video I want to show you how you can connect uh, uh, how you can connect and create hoodie tables uh, using Spark SQL, Hive Thrift Server and Beeline. At the end I'll also show you how easily you can connect to any client tool such as DB Weaver and run your analytics right. You can also connect to any popular BI tool, um, maybe Power BI or QuickSight or it is Apache Superset. You can use the JDBC URL and connect to your um, Hive uh, Metastore. So let's get started without wasting any further time. All right, so I am on my terminal. So the first thing that we will do is we will uh, start the Spark Thrift server and uh, hopefully you guys can see the font size. If not, I'll try to make it a little more bigger. So this should be visible now right so now let me copy uh, this spark submit all right so over here we are saying spark submit master as local which means i'm running in a lo uh, my local environment now important thing over here is spark sql warehouse directory so i am saying that this is where i would want to create my warehouse right uh, my spark warehouse right hopefully that made sense uh, then uh, over here spark.hadoop.hive metastore warehouse url so this is where the hive metastore will be created okay uh, we are going to use two packages which is uh, spark hive version uh, 2.12 colon 3.4.0 this is basically my spark version so if you're using spark 3.2 or 3.1 simply change the last three um, uh, characters okay and then here I'm using um, hoodie spark bundle 2.12 and I'm using the version 0.14.0. So and if you observe over here in the class section, we are basically saying server.hive server 2 So this will basically start a thrift server. Uh, with all the packages and now we could basically create hoodie tables we can run simple sql queries i'll show you how easy it is so let's run this okay so i'm gonna collapse this now what i will do is i'll open up one more terminal okay and i want to show you over here how easy it is so i'm gonna open up my terminal over here and now we can connect that through beeline okay so now let me show you that process so beeline minus u jdbc colon hive uh, jdbc colon hive to uh, colon slash slash you can either use localhost or 0, .0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0 my thrift server is running on the port 1000 and the database that i want to connect is the default if you hit enter this allows you to connect to uh, connect to the thrift server so now you can say hey you know what show database right you can run this query you can say use default right show tables right so basically, uh, as you can see, right, you can run uh, all these uh, query over here, right? Now, let's see how easily you can basically create hoodie tables. Uh, it's a really, really easy process. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a sample hoodie table. So let me copy the command and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, over here. So again, I'm creating a table called hoodie table. These are the columns, they're appropriate data type and I wanna partition my uh, you know, table by Siri. Hit enter and uh, sure enough, my table has been created. So I can do show tables. I can run the SQL query and here you can see my hoodie table. Now I can insert some data into it, right? So let me show you that particular process. See how easy it becomes, right? So I can simply, you know, uh, provide insert into hoodie tables and values. These are the values that I wanna insert, right? And as you can see now, those uh, you know data points have been inserted. Now you can run simple SQL queries as well. So I can say select uh, you know these columns from this particular hoodie table where fair is greater than twenty, right? So here you can see you're able to see that, right? Now you know what's the beauty about this. Now you can use any existing tool to connect to this and run SQL queries there as well. So for example, let's say I want to use DB Word. So again, it's a tool which allows you to connect to various sources. Right. So now what you can do is over here, you can, uh, let me click on close. Okay, so now here you can click on this plus icon and here you can select Apache Hive and then you can click on next and then click on the URL and then you can paste the JDBC URL. JDBC colon hive to colon slash slash localhost colon thousand because we're gonna run the thrift server on thousand. I've already connected here, as you can see here. Yeah, I can expand uh, these, right? And here you can see, I see my hoodie table. Uh, I can say view table, right? I can see all my data over here, right? 
as you can see all my data points uh, you can also run uh, SQL queries here simply uh, I just have to see where that option was so SQL open SQL script uh, I'm just gonna say new script select I'm just gonna paste the same same query over here right and then I'm gonna hit this button which says execute and here you can see I'm able to now query uh, my hoodie tables through a client tool like DB viewer right now you can connect to any popular um, uh, what you say um, uh, BI tools for example Power BI you can use the JDBC URL and then you can connect to a Power BI application you can connect to Apache Superset if you are using QuickSight and you, if you want to use Spark as the backend you can launch the thrift server running on EMR and then you can use the, the, the JDBC URL and, and use that in the QuickSight and connect to your um, Hive Meta store and then start running queries there. So I hope this video is helpful and I hope you see how easily you can do that on your local machine by a simple spark submit command. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list all the commands on my GitHub section. So if in case you want to try it out on your computer, go ahead, uh, you know, simply try these out and uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right. I hope this video was useful and this video I'll conclude it here. If you have any questions, let me know uh, and I'm going to see you in the upcoming uh, next uh, videos.